Karo Irungu, Deputy Governor Nyeri Wante. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mine will be very brief. I think as uh, leaders of Mount Kenya, we are here to call out um, this illegitimate government in what we are seeing initially uh, to be dictatorial tendencies. Uh, we saw and we are seeing how they are com continuing to speak. We want to call out this government on um, especially the finance bill. If you look at the finance bill for a government that has been saying they have women at the core of their government, you look at Clause 17, uh, like uh, what our vice captain has said, women groups will now be considered as businesses, attracting a 30% uh, tax. And the story of Mount Kenya, especially those of us who have grown up in Mount Kenya, is that um, as our fathers were working, our mothers are very involved in chamas and in merry-go-rounds. And uh, this, they really support uh, the family unit. In fact, if you look at the data in the Ministry of Gender, uh, the Mount Kenya region ranks highest in uptake of the Women Enterprise Fund and the lowest in loan delinquency. And therefore, uh, when you begin to look at these women in the villages as whatever activity they're, they're taking on as business activities, essentially what you're doing is killing that sector. As Mount Kenyan leaders, we're also very aware that this regime would like to kill our small businesses. If you go through the finance bill, once again, if you sell chai and mandazi, those small vibandas that we have in the village, and you only sell 1,300 shillings a day, those are 10, 12 cups of tea and mandazi in the village, you will now be giving, uh, paying to this government about 15,000 shillings a year. So ideally, we see a regime that is out to kill our Mount Kenya businesses, that is going for women, I mean, in very mundane and desperate things like trying to charge wigs and weaves and very small, desperate measures. Most of those businesses that sell those wigs and do those beauty activity are owned and run by women. So as women of Mount Kenya, we are seeing a regime that is out to hurt our businesses, that is out to hurt our activities as women. And therefore, we want to call them out at these very early opportunities to tell them we will not stop to say that, uh, and we will not be intimidated to say that um, for an illegit illegitimate uh, regime, I think uh, you have a lot of guts to do what you're doing. I thank you very much. Governor Delito.